Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is Leapy Frog 12 and Padawan, and we're going to be showing you how to do the meat is murder Easter egg on uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Is it Havoc DLC? Ascendance. Ascendance DLC. You know I'm all into that Advanced Warfare. So this Easter egg is pretty easy. Um, you could do it solo or with friends. I mean, you can. It's it's. I'd give it like a six on difficulty range. Um, yeah, I did it by myself, like on all of them, and all the steps. What do you right, think about so it? Right. We're just gonna let you guys know what you're gonna do. So first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to travel to the sewers and turn these red valves. Now, they're not gonna spawn all in the same spot every time you play. Yeah. And you see here is an example of one. And there's actually four in the map. So you just have to hold your reload button near it when you're on the valve. And... So yeah, there's four of them located all around the map. They're like orange pipes. They're located pretty much anywhere in the sewers. And there's nowhere outside where they're going to be located. So uh, pretty much just look around through here and you'll eventually find them. Uh, I found mines pretty close together, so I got pretty lucky on this gameplay. So I found them one here, two of them down there, and then there's one by the sewer that leads to Burger Town. And those are the ones where the most, and once you turn them, steam will start coming out, like, right there. So, yes. I just kept... Just a, heads up, just a heads up real quick. They're not all going to be spawned at the exact same time. Like, you have to turn one, find the other one, turn it, find another one, turn it. And you got to do that for all four. Yeah, so I started punching zombies here. Started, uh, should have cut this part out. La, 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 la. Finally going here. Finally decided to check in here. There's some on the ceiling right there. So you got to check up there as well and in the water. And I finally found it right here. And that's four step. And I'll say this once you do all four. I feel a draft. Yeah, so and I'm about to draft. And then you just go ahead and head down to the sewers. It's going to be right underneath the stairwell that leads down here. And there's going to be this little chamber, which will lead you on to step two. Where here at step two, you're going to need to find a golden skillet. And this is really easy to find. It's actually located in the building where you are spawned at. And it's actually going to be right here. And all you need to do is just have an exosuit, double jump, and then grab it with your okay, button. golden skillet. Is there seasoning to go with that? That's what kind of makes this easter egg easy, really, because it only spawns in one spot. There's no difference in spawning or anything. And then after you grab the skillet, you're going to place it on the altar, and this will lead you on to the next step. And you know, in pretty much all easter eggs of all zombies game, you're eventually just going to need to start killing zombies eventually, and this is the step right here. Exactly. Now... All you need to do at this point is just kill the zombies, like Leap said. Now, you gotta kill a certain amount of zombies, and as you keep killing them, blood will start dripping into the skillet. And all you gotta do is keep killing them, and eventually you'll end up getting it. Yeah, you see on the floor around the pipe, you'll see start filling up with blood, and that's pretty much you just need to do that. Um, try just boost jumping around here, because you'll get corner trapped pretty easily. Once you finish filling up the skillet, Alter will rise and you grab the uh, the skillet using the same thing you placed it down with, pick it up, and you're on to step four. Where you're going to have to head over to Burger Town and place the skillet on the grill as you'll see Leap doing here in a sec. Smack that right on there and you're pretty much on to step five which is the, the meat. There's four pieces of meat in the map and they are located in each area except for the spawn. Now, just a heads up, you can only pick up one piece of meat at a time. Kind of like what you had to deal with with the valves. You just have to grab a piece of meat, take it to the skillet, grab another one, take it to the skillet, and so on and so forth. And that's what makes it easier the, if you do it with friends, because you got one person find each piece of meat, and it's pretty much done after that. So I just showed the ones where I found in my location. They're located, in, they're actually really easy to find. They're glowing red pieces of meat, so I mean, they're not that hard to find in dark corners. Uh, so just look around all the corners of the map. On some of the spots, I did have to boost jump on top of like roofs, like right here, and also in um, in the Atlas command. I also had to boost jump on top of a the Atlas container. It was a different gameplay, but you always check up there. Just check them all corners. Uh, it took me this one like five minutes to find, 
until I, I was about to give up and then I finally found it. Now, I have a real quick question. Are they all in the same spot every time? Uh, no, there, there's a ton of spots, but um, you'll find them somewhere around the area. But uh, step number six is you gotta get the Magnetron weapon from the... Printer. 3D printer. <laughs> and if you go all the way back to round three, where I, my first pull of the game was a Magnetron weapon. I got lucky here, so I pretty much kept it the entire game. And you just gotta cook it. It doesn't need to be a certain level. It could be level one, level 20. Uh, just shoot it until it cooks fully, and you hear a ding, and it's fully done. And next step is you have to get the bun for the burger. Now, the way you get this bun is you gotta kill a Burger Town employee zombie, and he will randomly drop a bun, and you don't have to hold a button to pick it up. You can just walk over it. It's basically a power drop like right there. It's pretty clear on that one. I'm glad I got a good shot of that one. But, um... I found it easier to for to find more Burger Town employees if you trained in Burger Town. So mm -hmm. yeah, and then on top of that, if, you, if you're in the sewer, it's kind of hard to see the burger get found on the floor. Now for step eight here, you gotta feed the burger to Bubby, but you don't want to feed it to him like you see there. So you're gonna want to grab the burger, but after you grab the burger, you will become infected. And once you get infected, you just want to run all the way to the uh, to the uninfected chamber, which I did right here just showing you where it's at just in case you get lost you just take it there take it right all the way back to burger town and once you do that then you can go ahead and feed it to him and that'll bring you on to step 10 i believe i believe so too and after you feed the burger to bubby he will say something like this mm -mm, so good battery is low and once you do that, then it'll take you on to step number nine. Apparently, I went back on a step. Uh, <laughs> so you want to go to the sign right here, which is located in Atlas Command. You have to hold square on it to it can make a like a beeping noise. And this is why it's easier on co-op. So you can have one person press the button and the other person just stand here and pick it up as soon as it opens. Uh, it's pretty obvious, but if you're playing by yourself, you have to do it as fast as possible. Uh, so you boost, jump, slide, do your, use your EXO movements to get over there to that thing. Grab it and, and take it to uh, value voltage so you can charge it. It's going to be located right across the uh, spawn area. Head all the way over there and you can place it in to charge. Yep. Now, after you place the battery in the charger, the zombies will go after it, so you're going to have to protect it as best you can. So yeah, I, sh I showed it how they started just attacking the battery there. And they once they hit it a few times, it will pop out of it, and you have to place it back in by just looking at it and just uh, holding square X or E. You're playing on that PC. Exactly. And then you will know it's fully charged as soon as you see a battery completely full on the screen. And you can actually use that ambulance right there as a distraction if you need to get them off of you. Yeah, there's, so there's no round limit. It's mainly just time-based, and you just take it all the way to Bubby once it's fully red, and he'll give you a key. Which will lead you then to st actually step 10. You're going to want to... This is actually step 11. <laughs> I can't get me to step 10. <laughs> You're going to actually want to climb into the burger and then take the key up to this command center. Come over to this console and it will actually deny you access. And over here there's actually another weapons upgrade. But you're going to need a level 20 upgraded weapon in order to use that one. Same thing with the first Easter egg, it gave you the secret, like, pack-a-punch thing. I uh, looked around, got lost there. You actually have to hold square on the capsule to do it. And then, you're going to want to activate the instigator that is in the sewers, and as an instigator is actually eating a zombie, you're going to want to shoot it, that way it'll drop its hand. So, I'd re it also works for dogs, too, for some odd reason. It dropped right there, I didn't pick it up for a weird reason. I'd recommend putting on camouflage and having some sort of sentry gun or drone, just to have a another gun shooting at it but for some reason my it dropped a random hand there I think it's because my drone shot it but it drops a I, hand there and you just walk over it and pick it up or hold square I don't know but you're gonna want to be quick on picking up that hand because it, if it sinks completely you can't get it back so you have to get another zombie to do it again so then you take the hand all the way to the thing you don't have to be infected I was just uh, I was just rushing so you just go ahead and hold your scan. It. It'll pick it up automatically if you're playing on the uh, original version. Don't get corner trapped here. That's a good step. Then you want to take it over to the Burger Town, and this is pretty much the very last step. Is uh, oh, is step 12. One more step. You take it over there. It'll kick you out automatically and start launching uh, burger bombs and burger the burger missile after a few seconds. 
And the burger bombs are pretty much like the clown bombs on Sideshow. You can actually pick these up and use them to kill the zombies. That's what it was. And uh, tip of advice, don't throw it right underneath you like this. You will go down. <laughs> I was literally going on a flawless run here until that very moment, and I decided to uh, kill myself. That would really suck if you didn't have Exomedic right there. Yes, and I almost did it again here. Uh, the next throw, I believe. Uh, just don't stand next to it when you throw it, or anywhere near it. So it launches the missile, and you're almost done, so there's one more step after the missile launches and everything. You just gotta let it go up into the sky. Then you have to re-enter re the burger. Yep. And what do you do from there? After you do it there, you go up to the console that you put the uh, keypad in originally, that was red. It'll now give it back to you and it'll be green instead. And you take it over to Bubby again, and then something magical will happen. Which you will see here in just a sec. I just wandered around waiting for that missile to go away, but if you do it during the middle of a round, he will actually come alive and help you, but in I've seen in some gameplays of people doing it, they do it towards the end of the round and they just disappear and it gives them random power drops. Yeah, that's what I saw too. Okay, so I've only done in the, the three times that I've done it, it's always done in the middle of a round, so it's always come alive and start helping you with the slaying of zombies. Now, if you do it in the middle of the round, the zombies will try to attack him, but he will slam him with ease with his sign. And there you have it. The meat is murder easter egg is officially completed. And he will eventually drop a power-up after he disappears there as well. So I hope you liked the video. Please leave a like, comment, favorite, subscribe, and thanks to help from uh, Padawan here. It's my pleasure to help you out. I hope you uh, see you on the next one on the carrier map? Uh, yes it is carrier. Alright, then I'll see you then. Stay froggy.